Fiera to John Malone's 2020 releases, Vegan Lotus Flower and Cypress and Grape Wine. Stay tuned for my review. Hello everyone and welcome to this double review on the brand new releases from the British niche brand Jomalon that were inspired by the Asian heading gardens and the official description says that a lost moment in time is reimagined in the present to inspire two new fragrances which are fig and lotus flower for the lighter range and cypress and grape vine for the Cologne Intense range and I'm very lucky to get these two minis. So with that being said, before we get started our review and I tell you how I feel about these two fragrances that were inspired by a very beautiful scene. As always, the visuals are on point as you could see in the intro. Let's ask Benny for his opinion on these two new releases. Alrighty guys, after being at Frankfurt's Douglas store and now driving home from Darmstadt, our rubric Ask Benny today in a car his opinion on perfumes I review. And today those are Benny 2020's Jo Malone releases. So I won't say anything, you can just smell and share with guys your opinion. Now this is cypress and uh, wine leaves. So there wasn't okay. much in a bottle, so I did okay, not apply too much. That's why it is uh, uh, light. Um, it's it's a, maybe a little bit powdery and soapy, but it's very, very, very calm. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's barely noticeable. That's because I didn't apply too much. To me, particularly as I sprayed it from the bottle, or oh, maybe here you can smell it better. No, not really. No, not really. All right, let's let's try out the next one, and I will share with you my opinion, guys, um, afterwards. So this is fig and mm. lotus flower. I think yeah, this one this is, is more noticeable. This is more noticeable. Uh, a little bit maybe floral or green. It's true. Mm. It's okay, it's nothing special. Okay. Would you I'm sorry. would you be attracted to a person who wears it? I doubt it. Alright, and do you think it's unisex or more masculine unisex. feminine? I think both both of them are unisex even if the first perfume smells yeah. maybe a little bit feminine but you could also wear it as a uh, as a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So. Alrighty. So guys, now I'll tell you how they smell and what do I think about them. But thank you, Benny, so much. I think your opinion is always appreciated, not only by me but also by the guys. So that was Benny's take on these two and I have to be honest with you and mention that the tester bottle of cypress and grape wine was almost empty in the store so I tried to get as much out of it on the blotter as I could but it didn't give me that much so probably that's why Benny couldn't really smell it that well but I applied a lot of fig and lotus flower and then I put the blotters into my purse so probably this one left the imprint on the cypress and wine and Benny kind of got its vibe but with that being said, I want to tell you how I feel about these two perfumes and if you've already tested them out, then definitely comment down below what's your opinion. Do you like this uh, Lost in Wonder collection or not so much? So let's begin with Fig and Lotus Flower and I have the dry down on the blotter, which is helpful and I will apply a little bit on oh, my sweater, what do you think about it, by the way. so. The opening. The opening is actually citrusy, grassy and green. You will think that this is a freshy, which it is, but I like that this synthetic moment goes away pretty quickly and it turns into a green, slightly harsh, almost like leafy fragrance that is not very natural smelling, so I need to warn you, get ready for that. But there is a 
fig leaf note in there and some fig perfumes can smell creamy and green at once in here i get more of that fig skin or fig leaf kind of a scent it's not very fruity so if you think it's gonna be fruity it's not like that instead i could describe it as a green and citrusy perfume or a fresh and floral perfume because there is lotus flower which is a particular note it's not like many other notes because it has almost like a dewy watery sense to it feeling to it and uh, when I smell this perfume I get an image of a floating flower on the water so in the base there is vetiva the dry one is very, very lovely, but it's not vetty, very woody or rooty. It smells even slightly musky and still green to me, but more elegant than it does in the opening. So, although I'm not crazy over it, in my opinion, this is one of the best Jamalon releases um, in years. So, that might tell you something. And I find if you like Jamalon perfumes and you are into lighter fragrances that are not very noticeable and outstanding and won't make you the most noticeable person in the room, I think you might like it, particularly if you enjoy Jamalon's uh, style and you know what you're getting from that. This is a very typical release from this brand that can be worn by men and women. It's something very easygoing and everyday friendly. You can even use it as a base. You might remember that Jo Malone's perfumes are quite layerable, so they recommend to layer these two perfumes because, you know, they are from the same collection. And so we are moving on to Cypress and uh, Vine, Grapevine. I will also spray a little bit on myself. Oh yes, this is really, really strong, woody, uh, masculine to me personally. That's why I think Benny just got vibe of Fig and Lotus, because this perfume reminds me so much of... This might be shocking, but I'm telling you, the moment I smelled for the first time, second time, third time, and today, I always get the impression of a boss, Hugo Boss, perfume. You know, remember the bottle collection? It smells so, so similar to those. It's masculine, it has this um, fresh, herbaceous kind of vibe. There is cypress in there, there is grape vine accord, and there is moss. I would say it smells like a masculine cologne, so if you're looking for something in that style, you might really, really enjoy it. To me, it's not very wearable, just because I get that Hugo Boss vibe, and I just know too many men who wear those perfumes, and there is nothing wrong with that. I'm just telling you that this is not necessarily something that would appeal to me personally. And now, what I want to do is to layer both perfumes. Let's do it um, maybe somewhere over here. So, so I just want to know how these two would work together because I can imagine that uh, the fig, wow, fig flower will add more of a lively part to the pretty dark and heavy cypress and grape wine. So it kind of did that. I find that this combo is very successful. So if you are looking for more complexity than these two can offer on their own, I think that purchasing both is not the uh, worst idea, but in my personal opinion, they are just a little bit too boring, although quite um, wearable, so it's up to you, definitely test uh, them before trying out, and if you have a different opinion on these, please share it in the comments, maybe you agree with Benny more, maybe you find Cypress and uh, Grapevine feminine, I find that this is 95% um, masculine perfume, but that is just my opinion. Share your thoughts down below and tell me, are you excited for these two? How do you feel about Jo Malone these days? I know that there are fans and people who don't really care about this brand, but I still wanted to update you about these new releases and sincerely hope that this video was helpful. In terms of longevity and projection, I can smell them on myself, but not too much. Of course, the intense perfume is more noticeable than the lighter Fig and Lotus. I think it's actually more of a summery addition because it's so fresh and light. Um, Cypress and Grapevine, it's... 
something deeper. So on that note, if there are any questions left, don't hesitate to ask me anything you want. I'm always excited to hear from you and I'm also excited to purchase a brand new limited edition from Jomalon, which you can check out on their official website. It's Amber and Musk in a very beautiful bottle that I've already smelled today and it's gonna be available in Frankfurt's Douglas next week. So if you want to see a review on that one, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you learn something new for yourself, do that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time because the majority of my viewers don't have subscription and I highly recommend you to ring that bell too in order to get notified when I post new videos and update you about very cool or less cool perfumes. And on that note, I'm looking forward to chat with you. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. On Instagram, I post about perfumes and unbox fragrances live sometimes with perfumers. So all the health information is below for you guys. And on that note, thank you so much for watching this video. And please stay tuned, be healthy, and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye! Oh guys, I have a small update for you, which I find interesting, so I thought maybe you would like to know it. Anyway, after going to a baby party today, Benny's brother asked him if he wore Davidoff, which is why I found so funny, because, you know, with Yana, Davidoff? What? Anyway, I kind of thought that might be my Cypress perfume, so I asked him and he was like, yeah, that's it. And you know what happened next? Afterwards, he didn't want to sit next to me because of this perfume. So here we go. That is one of people's reactions to this perfume that indeed smells like a typical masculine perfume. So on that note... <laughs>